very good morning and welcome to this virtual service from St. Martin's Church, Delhi Cantonment. Today is the 12th Sunday after Pentecost and the theme for our meditation this morning is Thanksgiving for Bartholomew, the Apostle and all other Apostles through whom Christ built the Church. The Lord gave the word, great was the company of them that proclaimed the tidings. Let us praise God by singing our opening hymn. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, through whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayers, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray together the collect for the day. Almighty God, who gave your Apostle Bartholomew grace truly to believe and preach your word, grant that your church may love that word which he believed and may faithfully preach and receive the same through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and ever. Amen. We shall now have the ministry of the Word. The Old Testament reading is taken from Genesis chapter 28, 
verse 10 to 17. In a dream, Jacob has a vision of the Lord at Bethel, a place of communication between heaven and earth. Jacob left Beersheba and stayed there that night because the sons had said, Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, the God of Isaac, the land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your descendants, shall all the families of the earth bless themselves. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done that of which I have spoken to you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Here and solution, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. The responsive reading of Psalms is taken from Psalm 25, verses 8 to 14. Your response shall be, Show me thy ways, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Gracious and righteous is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. Them that are meek shall he guide in right paths, and such as are gentle, them shall he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy, and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, be merciful unto my sin, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he should choose. He himself shall dwell at ease, and his children shall inherit the land. The Lord revealeth his secret counsel unto them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. उसका इक्कीसवा अध्याय नौ से लेके चौदह आयत तक फिर जिस सात सौ दूतों के पास सात अंतिम विपत्तियों से भरे हुए सात कटोरे थे उनमें से एक मेरे पास आया और मेरे साथ बातें करके कहा इधर आ मैं तुझे दुल्हन अर्थात मेमने की पत्नी दिखाऊंगा तब वह मुझे आत्मा में एक बड़े और ऊंचे पहाड़ पर ले गया और पवित्र नगर योशम को स्वर्ग से परमेश्वर के पास से उतरते दिखाया परमेश्वर की महिमा उसमें थी और उसकी ज्योति बहुत ही बहुमूल्य पत्थर और बिलौर के समान यश की तरह स्वच्छ थी उसकी शहर पना बड़ी ऊंची थी और उसके बारह फाटक और फाटकों पर बारह सौ दूध थे और उन फाटकों पर इसराइलों के बारह गोत्रों के नाम लिखे थे पूर्व की ओर तीन फाटक उत्तर की ओर तीन फाटक दक्षिण की ओर तीन फाटक और पश्चिम की ओर तीन फाटक थे नगर की शैरपना की बारह नीवें थी और उन पे मेमनों के बारह प्रेरितों के बारह नाम लिखे थे ये प्रभु का कलाम है इसके पढ़े सुने जाने पे आशीष हो आमी टू लिसन टू द गॉस्पल Maybe sing our gradual hymn.
Holy Gospel is found recorded in the first chapter of the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1, verses 43 to 51. Nathaniel, who is commonly identified with Bartholomew, is brought to Jesus by Philip, and Jesus promises that his faith will be rewarded. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee and he found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bath Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you <coughs> under the fig tree. Do you believe? You sh shall see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angel of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Amen. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Friends, on behalf of the congregation, we wish Karima Dorothy Rao, whose birthday falls on the 23rd, Gauri Lumba Mins on 25th August, Chambubang Tabeta on 25th, Nisha S. Kumar on the 26th of August, Mini Menon Williams on 27th, and Sharda 27th again, and Mary Mary Eka on the 29th of August. We also have Ruth Walter and Vinod Kumar celebrate their wedding anniversary on the 24th of August. May we all pray together for all of them. Let us pray. Our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, you are a witness to the names that we have pronounced in your holy presence of those who would be celebrating their birthdays and anniversary during the coming week. We pray that your abundant blessings be upon them, upon their family, upon their profession. And may this new year that they step into may be a year of blessing for them, that they in turn may become a blessing for others. Continue to shower your manifold blessings on each one of them. For we ask this prayer in the precious, mighty, sweet and holy name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, everyone, and praise the Lord. I take this opportunity to thank our pastor and the members of the pastorate committee for giving me a chance to again speak in front of you. Today, as per the theme provided to me, I will be speaking on this topic Thanksgiving for Bartholomew and all apostles to whom Christ has built up his church. Let us pray that the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and redeemer. Today we are remembering Bartholomew, who is also known as Nathaniel in the book of John chapter 1 verses 43 onwards and as per the gospel reading 
which has already been read out in front of us, we see that Bartholomew, who is also Nathaniel, comes to Jesus, but he does not come by his own. But he follows someone to whom Jesus said, follow me, and that was Philip. And we see that he becomes, later on he becomes an apostle of Christ. So who is an apostle? The Greek word for apostle is apostolos, which literally means one who is sent off. He is an emissary, he is a messenger in the common term or what we call as today ambassador. These apostles were the ambassadors of Christ. Let us look into the life of Nathaniel, also known as Bartholomew. He was one of the apostles of Christ, whom Christ called as the one who is not like Israel, the one without guile. And Nathaniel, or the feast of the or the Thanksgiving of Nathaniel Bartholomew, is celebrated according to the Julian calendar on the 24th of August. But the Coptic calendar will be September 11th and the Eastern Christianity honors him on the June 11. The Catholic Church also honors Bartholomew on the 24th of August. So who was Bartholomew? Not much is given about Bartholomew, but he was Nathaniel, the son of Talmai, and he was one of the chosen one. It is also said that he came to India and he was here for some time and from here he goes back. But where did he come to India? He landed on the Konkan coast, which is now known as the city of Kalyan. And two people records this. One is Esobius of Caesarea in the early 4th century and the second person who records this event is Saint Jerome, late 4th century. Let us go back to the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 43 onwards. And it says, The next day Jesus decides to leave for Galilee, finding Philip. He said to him, Follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. It is something interesting that Nathaniel was being given an introduction about Christ and we see that Moses is also referred over here. Israel was waiting for its Messiah for a very long time. And here 
Philip is introducing Christ as the Messiah to Nathaniel. But you see, there is a very interesting line which comes right after this verse. And it says, Nathaniel is speaking over here. Nazareth, can anything good come from there? It seems like an immediate response of Nathaniel to what Philip said. It is something like demarketing Nazareth as the city which cannot produce anything good. It is something like those of us looking towards the other side of the Yamuna. Can anything come out? Can anything good come out from the other side of the Yamuna? It is something like that. And mind you, a whole series is there on the Netflix on this. But Philip also gives him a very interesting idea or a thought. Immediately, he says, come and see what can be a perfect condition when we see with our own eyes and Nathaniel starts to approach Jesus. And when they were when they are approaching towards Jesus, Jesus also saw Nathaniel coming along with Philip. It is something interesting to see that all these people are coming, all his apostles whom he has picked up one by one are coming to Jesus. And he says, and Christ says, here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Here truly is something very, very interesting. It is a double affirmation. In some versions it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Truly, truly, he is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Christ is talking about Nathaniel. And the very next moment, Nathaniel says, How do you know me? And Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. That means Christ was observing Nathaniel and he wanted to choose Nathaniel and he wanted him to be in his fold and Nathaniel responds to Philip's call when he says come and see all by yourself who Christ is. Because of this faith, it is very important to see that Christ was able to spread the good news to the people of Israel, to the whole world, because these people, the apostles whom he chose, knew who Christ was because they believed in him. And verse 49 says, Nathaniel declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. And Christ continues to speak. He says, you believe because I told you 
I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. Christ was able to go through Nathaniel. He was able to see who Nathaniel was by observing him under the fig tree. And Nathaniel marveled at that. And because he believed in him, he said to him, you will see greater things than that. And then later on he adds to it, Christ adds to it, very truly, it is not just truly, it is very truly, Amen, Amen, I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. I hope you remember somewhere else also the heavens were open and there was a ladder known as the Jacob's Ladder through which the angels were ascending and descending. I am emphasizing, if you have noticed, I am emphasizing on the words ascending and descending. It is something very unique to see. It is important to see that the angels are ascending. You can only ascend when you are at the bottom of something. And the heavens open and the angels of God ascending and descending. So the angels are not coming down into the, this world, but they are going up from this world to the heaven and from the heaven to this world. That means the angels are there with us. They are already here. And that is how they are going up from the earth to heaven and from heaven to the earth. It is important to say that it is these angels who watch over us. It is these angels who stand in front of God are also with us. If you remember, I was telling you the meaning of the apostles and it meant that the one who has been sent out into this world. It is also important to notice that, that when we have been sent out we are sent out for what? We are sent out to do the mission of God. And what is the mission of God? The mission of God is what we do. The apostles were sent out with a mission. Go ye, therefore, and make disciples and they went out they made disciples they were honest to the mission of God the mission which brought good news which brought hope to many people which brought peace in the hearts of the people it is important to know that the Great Commission which says Go ye therefore and make disciples means we are being sent out and sent out to do something to bring the children of God back home at times we forget the mission which is what we have to do 
when the apostles were sent out they were sent out with a purpose they were sent out with a purpose to spread the good news in the same way we are also sent out with a purpose a purpose where we are supposed to bring good news but what does the good news mean and to whom does it mean so good news is always for the person who is in trouble the person is seeking a way to come out of his troubles and it is during this time that we are to bring him the good news we are to establish the mission of god we also come with the apostolic command to bring the good news to those who have not received it till now and that is what the apostles did during that time and we thank god for sending his son jesus christ and through whom this church has been built and we as the children of god are sent out with the mission of god remember what we do is the mission of god almighty god you have built your church upon the foundation of apostles and prophets with jesus christ himself as the chief cornerstone help us to join together in unity of spirit by their doctrine that we may be able to make this place a holy temple acceptable to you through jesus christ our lord amen in response to the message may we reaffirm our faith together in the words of the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord he was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended to the dead on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen in our intercession let us join our prayer for the whole human family with the unceasing prayer of Christ the Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray for justice and peace in the whole world and for fullness of life for everyone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who live in Delhi and NCR and for the removal of all that divides us from each other and for true harmony in our country. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for all engaged in agriculture and industry and commerce for all workers skilled and unskilled and for all those who defend our country lord in your mercy hear our prayer for teachers and students scientists artists and writers and for all who influence the minds and hearts of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering, especially the coronavirus patients and the medical staff engaged in attending to them throughout the world, the poor and hungry, the destitute and oppressed, the unemployed, the sick, 
We especially pray for Mrs. Teresa, Mr. Surinder Tigga, Mrs. Sophie Robinson, Mrs. Deepika Garki, Mr. E. Ezra, Lieutenant Colonel Jacob Makai, and for all the elderly of our church, the dying, and for all who help them, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> for all to whom authority is entrusted in this and other countries, and especially for our President, the Prime Minister, the Chief Justice of India, the Lieutenant Governor, and the Chief Minister of NCT of Delhi, and for all who have power over other people, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the unity of all Christian people and for their witness and service in the world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For your whole church in our country, for its councils and leaders, especially for P.C. Singh, our moderator, A. Dhanraj Rasalam, moderator of the Church of South India, and Joseph, Metropolitan of the Marthoma Church, for Waris Masi, our bishop, for Sunil Ghazan, our presbyter, for Shekhar Samuel, our associate presbyter, and for all other ministers of your church, that they may be faithful in their ministry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That with all your people who have faithfully served you in this life, we also may share in the eternal joy of a kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hasten, Heavenly Father, the coming of your kingdom, and grant these petitions which we offer in the name of your Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us receive God's blessings. And now, unto God's gracious mercy and protection, we commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest and remain with each one of you and with all your dear ones, wherever they may be, and especially with those who have participated in this worship service and those homes who have watched it, now and forevermore. Amen. Friends, on behalf of the St. Martin's family, we wish to thank each one of you who have watched this worship service and have participated in it. May God bless each and every home where this service was watched. We pray to God that God would abundantly bless each one of you 
and that we continue to pray for the eradication of this pandemic that it may go soon so that we may all assemble together and worship the living Lord. Uh, at this time, we shall sing our closing hymn. In the name of Christ. Amen.
सब्सक्राइब करें हमारे चैनल देश ऑनलाइन पल्स ऑफ पीपल और बेल आइकन को क्लिक करना ना भूलें ताकि आप अपडेट पाए हमारे नई वीडियोस से।